So hello and welcome to Little Acorns. Hey! Hello. Um, we're looking a little bit different at the moment, and that's obviously because uh, us old fuddy-duddies need to look after ourselves. Um, and we need to, although we are together, we are distant and we need yeah. to keep social distancing, isn't it? It's very important that these things About happen. Half a mile, yes. <laughs> um, so before we begin, let us say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. Excellent. Well done. Well done. And I hope that you joined in as well, no matter where you are. You're always, yeah. always welcome. Now, the background that we have is a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? It's a bit of a giveaway about what it is that we're going yeah, to do probably. today. There yes. Go. There you go. We have camels going into our ears. Yes. So, so what do you think? What do you think they today's... camels. <laughs> Sorry? They spit. So they do. They do. They spit, don't they? They're very well known for yeah. spitting. They're actually quite rude animals. But yes. Yes. But there we go. So what do you think we're going to do today? Do you think it's going to be about the moon? No. It's not, is it? I hope not, because I've not done any preparation for that. No. Do you think it's, it's going to be about the camels themselves? It well, could that be. would make an it's interesting it. one, yes. It so. would, it would, but no, it's the people who are sitting on the camels, isn't it? Ah, that would be the wise men then. That would be the wise men, yes, yes. Okay. So, first off, I am going to do a quiz. The first one that you should be seeing is a giraffe. It is. It's a very Good. sweet giraffe. Too. It is. It's, it's, it's for teething. It's for teething. So, what kind of person would you give this gift to? A teething giraffe, I would guess, would be a baby. It would be for a baby, wouldn't it? If you were going to give it to, well, see, some old people don't have any teeth. So, would That's you give true. it to them to chew on? No, no, I don't think so. No. No. Okay, so yes, it's I mean, a baby, isn't it? my granny with a giraffe teether. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so we've got a giraffe. There we go, right. a giraffe there. And the next one, that. Oh. So it's a piece of jewellery, isn't it? Uh, it is. Probably, probably a necklace, isn't it? Yeah, looks like now, it. Yes. Now, who would you give this sort of gift to? Well, I got one for my confirmation. So I'm guessing that it would be a gift for a Christian at a specific time in their life, like confirmation or coming of age or yeah. something special. Fair enough. So yes, so that's someone, you'd probably give it to someone that you like and yes. someone that you know would take that um, and, and cherish it, wouldn't it? So yes. you, you may not give it to a baby. No. You, may give it, you may give it to a baby to, for them to wear later on in life. This is true, like but a christening present. Yes, but you wouldn't expect them to, to, to wear that, would it? So it'd be someone older. It could be a man or a woman. Yes. It'd be, it'd be someone older, yes? yes? Now, the next ones are slightly different. So okay. we've, talked about, we've talked about who the recipient of the gift would be. But, okay. Well, what's that? What gift would that be to give to someone? Uh, is that gold? It is gold. It's a golden nugget, isn't it? Oh, right. Yes, of course. It's well, I'm guessing if we're, if we're going back to the wise men, that one of the wise men would have... It's, it's worth a lot of money. So you're giving, you're giving somebody a good start um, to set them up. You are. You are. So it's obviously something of very high value, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, what kind of person would give this maybe as a gift? I'm guessing a shepherd. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, absolutely. You know, I mean, sort of... And it's, it's one of those things as well, isn't it? So the, he's lovely, isn't he? The, the he's, gold, he's lovely, isn't he? Uh, the gold is very expensive. Yes. But of course, to a shepherd, uh, a lamb would be very dear to them as well, wouldn't it? Yes, I mean, that, that's probably half a year's income there for a, for a shepherd to be able to sell his lamb. You know, they'd be poor, poor people and actually... Yeah. This lamb is something that they would have, which they would cherish to, to get yes. them. Right. Yeah. The next one is a little bit trickier. 
Now I think I know what this is. Right. Because I actually do have some of this. <gasps> do you? And I think this is myrrh. It Am I right? is myrrh. Yes. And they look like they look like sultanas, don't they? I do, and I must admit, when I saw it on the side, I thought, why is he giving me raisins? But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It, is, it is myrrh, and it is quite expensive, and you, you can do all sorts of things with it, but you mostly burn it you, you, as, a, you, as an incense. You do, you do, and actually it also hails back to, um, it, it's quite often used in preparation for people when they're dying, isn't it? And sort of yes. uh, as well. Yes. So, uh, but it's again, this is something that's very very expensive it's actually a well, form that, of that was it's probably that one is probably the most expensive of the lot yeah it'd be more expensive even than the gold yeah absolutely uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, absolutely it's um it says resin from a tree um um so yes excellent now the next yeah. one and i i am i'm adding a, a fair bit of um how can I put it? Artistic license here. So this is a clay pot that probably would have had sort of wine or, or, or something in it. Now, which person from the nativity story? Oh, uh, right. Okay. So we've had the shepherds and we've we the sort shepherds. of have the wise men. We have. Um, and I don't suppose it was the donkey. So I'm guessing <laughs> that it might be the innkeeper. Would I be right there? Yes, exactly, exactly. It doesn't say anything about the innkeeper in the Bible. It doesn't really tell <laughs> well, us much about it. Had a peak, wouldn't they? Well, yeah, <laughs> well, exactly, exactly. So he would have done, you know, the, the, this is a gift that someone would have given. And again, this yeah. is something that um, uh, would have been important to him. Um, yes. Um, and such like, because it's obviously that people recognised who Jesus was right from the get go. Right, the last one. The last one. Again, these look like sweeties, but they're not sweeties. No, this is this is more resin, so it must be frankincense. It is, isn't it? It's frankincense. Yeah, and yeah. the look, smell of frankincense is lovely. It it, it is. It is. It's, it's it's a gorgeous thing, isn't it? Um, yeah. And um, and again, this is very sweet smelling, very expensive, um, and it shows the high status. So that even yeah. though even though Jesus was born in a stable, um, people recognised. The, his status in that respect, um, and this is someone that you're a give, you know, you're a given this to to someone who was of 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 worth. You know, you wouldn't give it to anyone. And it's oh, also no, 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 no. And when you yeah. think how how um, how smelly um, first century Palestine must have been, um, only if you only if you were really well off could you have something to mask the smells. Mm. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, and, and 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 we still do it now. People still wear perfume, and perfume yes. can be very expensive, very very expensive. Definitely. So actually, the importance of smell is 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 you can't be overstated, really. Yeah. Yeah. So there we are. We have got all these different gifts, don't we? Now, Derry, do you have a very special gift? Do you I have do. What, what, a possession? A possession that you find to be um, you know maybe not worth a lot of money. But but is is something that is wonderful and and well, I have to say that yes. this is worth nothing, but it is one of my most treasured possessions, <gasps> and it was written by my six-year-old brother when mm. I went away to university, oh. and he sent me a Valentine's card because I was terribly homesick. I was stuck right up in the top of North Wales. And this little card came from him, and I've still got it about 50 years later. So uh, Fabulous. Uh, it is precious. So if, if, God forbid, if the house was burning down, is that one of the things that you would grab? Yes, and yeah. the mouse. Yeah. And the, obviously, obviously, can't do and without the, the mouse, yes. No. Mine is, I'll show you mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! Ship in a bottle. In a bottle. So they my are yes, my uncle was in the navy, and right. it even says on the bottle Christmas 1974. And oh. an old man who was in the navy as well used to make these, and they're amazing. They're amazing. They actually sort of they build them outside, put them inside, and then raise yeah, all they the have sails. Little, little, um, uh, uh, little bits of. Uh, twine right. on, yeah, on the yeah, absolutely. Pulls it all up. 
So yes. Yeah. So it's Brilliant. not worth it's not worth a lot of money, but you know, it's something that's very, very dear to me. Yeah. And of course, we have talked in this about gifts, and we've talked about the gifts that people have given either, you know, uh, or, or, and cherished, you know, to, to Jesus. But of course, in this story, the story that we have of the wise men coming to, to Bethlehem, actually the person, I say the person, but the person who's most generous in all of this isn't the wise men who gave gold. Um, it isn't the shepherds who would have given some gift as well when they came after hearing the angels. Um, it may not have been the innkeeper who allowed them to, to, to stay in the stable. Actually, mm -hmm. where the generosity comes from is God, isn't it? Because God yeah. gave us the greatest gift, the gift of love, hope, and peace, all wrapped up into the bundle of a baby boy. It's, Absolutely, and, and to, to um, steal a catchphrase from somebody, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It, it, it is 2,000 you know, years something later, and we are still sort of uh, you know, receiving these wonderful gifts from God. It's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and actually, I think importantly as well, the wise men didn't come from Israel. They came from further right. afield. You have the Jewish um, shepherds who were local and also the wise men who came from far, far away. So it shows you also that the, the gifts were for everyone. The gift of Jesus is for everyone. It's not just for the Jewish people. It's not just for outsiders. It's for absolutely everyone. And, uh, and I think that's a very important message which is in there, which sometimes gets forgotten. Yes. In, in no, the story. It, and when you think about it, some of the first people to see, to see Jesus were not Jewish at all. Um, yeah. It does, it does um, mean that yeah. it's for everyone. Exactly. Jew and non-Jew alike. Everyone sort of yeah. uh, you know, uh, benefits from experiencing that. Right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing you a, a, a Three Kings rap. Travelled from afar, where Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. We're searching for the king who was prophesied, and now we're on the longest ever camel ride. We're the kings who travelled afar. This is first century disco. We've got to have something to show the way. The prophets have been telling us through history. A star is going to show you where the king will be. We're the kings who travel the far. He is the one, God's only son. to bring us peace. He's come from a line of royalty and we will be the first in line to bow the knee. We're the kings who travel the path. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, how 
to make of a fool of yourself with absolutely no effort whatsoever? That, 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 that took, that took I, more than a little effort. I wouldn't say no, about anything think, else, but yeah, it's so I, I think you should calm us all down by having a prayer now. I think, I think that's... I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I can top that, but that, not that I want to, but uh, yeah, fabulous, well done. Well Thank done, you. that's great. Okay, so after all that excitement, shall we just still ourselves and welcome God into this? Because obviously it's all about God, isn't it? So let's close our eyes and put our hands together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts, the gifts that the people brought for our newborn king, the gifts that you give to us, the gifts that keep on giving. We ask that we all can share in these things. We can share them with you. We can share them with each other. We thank you for the richness and the wealth that you give us with these things. And can we use them in your holy work? Amen. Amen. And shall we have the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. That's wonderful. We hope that you're all all right, no matter where you are, if you're wandering from afar, if you're very local to us. We hope that you're staying safe and that you too get to share in the wonderful gifts of this epiphany season. And we'll see you all next week. Next week, oh. indeed. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye.